What's up everyone? It's Cade. You are watching JC13 and I I'm late for class. Hi everyone. Hello. We just finished class Global Dimensions in Business. Yes, sir. 8 a.m. class. I did make it on time with Alina. Nice. Alina plays on this new women's tennis team. Let's go, Snoop. Let's right. <laughs> and we're just walking to Robert Frost for our second class. She's got a different class. I'm going to Justice Studies. And then we're going to get ready for practice later today. And then also go for lunch before that. So we'll keep you guys updated. What's up, guys? So we're back in the dorm. Just finished my second class uh, Justice Studies, Criminal Justice. Interesting class, you could say, just taking it as an elective, it's not my major or anything, but getting ready to do a little bit of meditation. That's something I've been doing recently. So really trying to channel that stuff and work on that stuff because it's very beneficial for me on court. So if you guys also want to see kind of some videos about that, let me know in the comments because I will gladly make a video on meditation and practices like that that can help tennis players, but gonna do that. And then we're gonna walk over to get some food before uh, our next class and then we'll head to practice. So more on the meditation, it's really been a game changer for me. Um, it, it's kind of like elevated, if you know what I mean, like my focus and how to stay calm out on court kind of brings me that inner peace. So you know those, you have those long rallies and those tough points and everybody's loud, especially that happens in college tennis. It's important to kind of find that not happy place, but peaceful place where you need to kind of take a step back and find yourself in the moment. Um, and that is definitely something that meditation has taught me and I'm excited to kind of use that for the upcoming season. So I'm excited to see how it affects me and how I feel in the tight moments. All right, everybody. We're outside on the way to get some food for some lunch. It's about noon right now. Was able to finish the meditation as you guys saw. Got practice, or sorry, got class in 30 minutes. Gotta get something to eat though, super fast here. And then we'll be off to practice. Hopefully practice does not get canceled today because it is snowing and the roads might get bad. So we'll keep you guys updated though. And of course, proper nutrition is key. I definitely try to stay on it here at school with my food. So that doesn't mean cheat days every day. Uh, but yeah, definitely staying on my nutrition and hydration all the time. All right, you guys, you know I say this all the time, but I'm going to say it again. I cannot stress this enough, and that is go to the gym. Hit the gym. Uh, this is going to help you guys, like especially it doesn't matter what level you are. You could be a club player. Go to the gym. It'll help you. It, you could be a junior player. Going to the gym helped me so much when I was a junior because I wasn't able to find the extra on court time, but I cannot stress it enough. It's going to help you with your endurance. It's going to help you feel strong out there. It'll make you feel confident. So hit the gym, it'll pay off, and it will make you feel good out there on court. All right, you guys, the season is about to start and we're supposed to have our first dual match of the season coming up. So the pressure is going to be on, the stakes are going to be high, but as you guys know from the last couple episodes, I've been preparing for this for months. Our team practices are definitely something that play a big role into our preparation for our dual season and our first match coming up. Right now we've been working on a couple of things, specifically uh, serve and return plus one. So this is gonna be very important uh, for us out of the gate to be aggressive and to be able to take charge in points. So as a team, this is something that we are doing right now. And then more in a general area, we've been doing a lot of singles and doubles play. Doubles uh, is very, very important in college tennis because you wanna get that first point out of the gate to get a lead uh, in the score against the other team. And then when it comes to singles, we've also been playing a lot of tiebreaker stuff to start getting some rhythm what it's like to be in a more point-like situations. This will continue throughout the season to make us be ready, but then also for us to continue to kind of sustain that rhythm. Practice done, gym done, but 
the wonderful Chris Tut picked me up. Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. it's a little chilly, a little slippery. So with all this preparation for the season, it can be a little bit stressful. So you know, I've been going to the gym, we got our preseason on court, and I'm, all, I'm also in class, so that takes a little bit of a toll. It's important for me to you know take some time for myself, relax, de-stress. So a couple things that I like to do for that are hang out with some friends, whether that be my friends here at school or the tennis guys, watch a movie, go watch a TV show, listen to some music, play some video games. Those are some things that I like to do to kind of take a step back and relax. Hey, we're getting that 13 UTR. That's right! That 13 UTR. And we're gonna get 10,000 subs. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, make it 20. Chris is my biggest, biggest fan, I yes, think. Yes, sir. All right, we're signing off. See you later. All right, you guys, and finally, we have some match play coming for you guys. So on January 27th, we're headed to Boston College for our first dual match of the season. So make sure you guys are liking and subscribing so you do not miss that video. It's going to be good. I'm going to be going over my match with you guys, and you guys are going to be able to see it happen. You guys can watch it live also as well, but there will also be a video for it as well. So make sure you guys are liking and subscribing so you don't miss that. Thank <laughs> you.